When you go through the internet, the largest number of social media users are young people between 17 and 35 years, many looking to numb stress. This has led to young psychologists and therapists employ the use of those networks to invent mental health solutions for young people through their favorite mediums. We have our social media platforms where we have Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, mm-hmm. um, Twitter, LinkedIn, YouTube, where we are able to interact with young people. If, for example, they want information on mental health, they can be able to share the word Akili or mind, mm-hmm. and they'll be able to get uh, a lot of uh, information in line with mental health. We spoke to John, not his real name. He tells us that he was sexually abused several times when he was six years old, a situation that saw him depressed for years, unable to even tell his parents what he went through. When I was younger, when I was six years old, I was uh, sexually abused Mm -hmm. by a family friend. And it was sexual abuse with violence. I didn't tell my parents. Mm -hmm. And... One of the reasons is because for a while, when the abuse was happening, because it happened for many years, mm-hmm. uh, I don't remember, I wasn't remembering much. So it's, um, and I love the therapy, it's something called dissociation. So, mm-hmm. like your brain forgets these things because it's so traumatic to handle. Mm-hmm. So, for most of my primary school life, I didn't, I wasn't remembering what was, I didn't know, it's like I was existing, but I wasn't present in the moment. He lived through stressful episodes, day in, day out, trying to figure out why him, to a point where he says he lacked the purpose for living anymore. And it led me to a point where I was suicidal, and then I even uh, tried commit suicide three times. Um, I was very, I, was in a, I hadn't accepted that it happened, and I, didn't, I wasn't... Um, I wasn't. I didn't really see why this should happen. Mm-hmm. It was still very dissonant. But right now, I'm at a place of uh, peace and more calmness. But while at the university, he decided to seek help. I think there's a difference between counseling and therapy. Mm-hmm. I think counseling is where someone will advise you and tell you this is what you should do, mm-hmm. what you should not. Mm-hmm. But therapy is making you understand and see what you are saying so that you can be able to now make those decisions for yourself. So therapy has been beneficial in that way where I've been more self-aware and more understanding of what happened and what is still happening and, uh, and that. Therapists and psychologists who help young people through social media tell us that through one-to-one youth platforms, they have been able to help many young people to deal with mental illnesses without societal stigma. Over 50% um, of uh, the people who will have challenges in mental health uh, in their adulthood Uh, 50% of them presented when they were um, 14 and below. And one of the things that they're really comfortable in is sharing um, their concerns through the social media uh, spaces and also our SMS call platform because there's a lot of anonymity and confidentiality. And they don't feel as if they are restricted. They have to, you know, use a specific name for them to sort of express themselves. And considering that most young people are on the internet at night, these experts make sure that they are available at all times to provide psychological help. Between 10 p.m. in the night to 8 a.m. in the morning, we notice that so many young people are actually reaching out to our services, seeking um, seeking, um, uh, with concerns in line with stress-related issues, uh, drugs and substance use, among others. So we are able to actually ensure that this young person is able to get uh, that, um, get support even beyond 10 p.m. Their call is for the young people to break the silence so that they can get help. So one thing I will tell young people don't keep quiet with it's okay not to be okay you realize that there is a lot that uh, is is missed because we are not intentional about uh, the challenges that these people are facing at every different stage we have our call platform which is 1190 it's a toll free line from 8 a.m. to 10 p.m. in the night. Uh, when a young person reaches out to us, they'll be able to get a certified counselor who will be able to take them through um, a session. 
Robbie Omondi K24 Health Beats.